That fake in the orgasm, men can't do that unless you spit on a back or something. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. You know, that in, in porn, you know, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. I've got a story about that. I've got a story about that. I was, I was, chat, I was chatting to a porn director and I said to him, what, was this during I can't filming? Wait to yeah. hear what he's going to say. <laughs> no, I said this. I said, I said, how does it work for the money shot? And he said, apparently the guy like can't. I don't know the nice way to say it. Can't jizz or whatever, right? In the <laughs> <laughs> you picked the best word out of them all, mate. To be honest, can, can I just check? Is that the medical term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't like go. Oh yeah. Anyway, right. So. They can't do it like more than like a, you know, one or twice a day, but they're having like about eight films a day. So what they use is soap water. So like he's going, he's doing his face and then they cuts the woman going, oh, give it to me, baby. And then he, oh, and they squirt soap. And that is a fake orgasm. Is that what it there is in the porn films with soap water? You learned water. it here. This poor woman sitting there like a plasterer's radio. <laughs> 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 But at least her face is actually cleaner because yeah. it's soap. Then after she can have a good wash, can't she? That'd yeah. be. Where do you find these women? I don't wish to be rude, but where are these women that do these porn films? Where the fuck are they? They walk around in Lidl's or something like that. They're real bad. Oh, come on, baby, give it to me. In my face, I'm a come on, come on, fucking get out of here. That's not real life, is it? Imagine uh, that if you're married. That goes on my fucking nighty there. <laughs> 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 yeah. Give it to me, baby. It can't be real on them pool films. There yeah. can't be balls that big. Not even yours can produce <laughs> that amount of fucking. There must be like a tube going down a quarry out past the drivers, round your areas, into the prop man with a bucket full of watered down fucking vanilla yogurt and action stirrup pump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, baby. That's why I don't watch it. I'm 60 years of age now. I get a puff of dust. That's it. <laughs> I'm jealous as fuck. You have to come in with a vacuum yeah, cleaner. Yeah. I used to be able to hit the wall, now it rolls down the stem like a melting candle. That's it. <laughs> oh, at least, no, it gets worse. It gets worse. If I, I actually <laughs> melt one of just got to go. No, this way. Do you want to come on my tits? I'll never fucking reach them, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Lie on the floor, I'll try and drip a bit on you. But <laughs> Oh, the super power. Oh, come down like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm oh, sorry. I, oh, listen, no, no. I shouldn't even be on here. I'm a bit tired. Oh. It's lovely, dude. Don't worry. It's, it's lovely. I'd like a superpower. Yes, go on. To be able to understand women. Yeah. Oh, good one. <laughs> that that could is be some superpower. Explain, explain more. Well, it's like, if, have you ever got, if you imagine getting something from Ikea, really complicated, like a garden patio eater, Right? Eater. And there's no instructions with it. Yeah, there's no instruction women, but a book for women, is there? And you never know. My wife is menopausal, so I don't know who I'm talking to from one minute to another. Something's coming down the stairs. I vaguely recognise the woman I was speaking to last night, but it's not the same person anymore. It's ridiculous. I don't know how to do it, and I wish I could. Maybe I'd, I'd be... And I, I don't know what the answer will be. I just, I can't, I can't get them. I can't get you uh, people at all. Really. No, I've I can't get you people. Oh, I've, I've married yeah. five of you people. You people, yeah. No, I have you. noticed he can't you. get us at all. No. Do you understand men then? No. Yes, because men, go, men, men, have, men are a much simpler machine. There's just the one wire, isn't there? <laughs> just the one wire from one the switch. brain. Down. And that's okay. So you kind of know you know you just fulfil that need, feed it, and then it's all right for a bit, and then you know. Women repeat. like I've got to alter my wire. Yeah. Where Women. are you going to stick your wire then? It's probably my wire. It you're sounds like you've got a right. loose connection. No, no. <laughs> Women, women are nice and everything, but they keep changing the they keep changing the, the rules. We're trying to keep it interesting. Why does yes mean no? Are we going out tonight? Yeah. That means no, doesn't it? They like a struggle. They like men to struggle, apparently. Yeah. That's what my wife does with me. She makes you struggle, and then she likes you to worm your way out of it, and if you buy her candles, she gets happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My wife doesn't actually trust me to leave candles on in the house when she's out. 
I don't trust she, me for she, that. Because she thinks I'm going to burn the house down. No, that's, no. that's how bad <laughs> men are. We've got, we've got a Joe Malone candle. You know those Joe Malone candles cost like 50 quid? Yeah. We got it as a wedding present. Wedding present. It's so expensive. You've got to light it for 10 seconds. Smell it as fast as you can. <laughs> and, <put> it out. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're making love with it on to try and make it all nice, you, you can't relax because you're just watching it going, that's 10 pound. That's 20 pound. Fuck me, I'd only last 10 quid. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, so I've, funny. I've worked so out, gorgeous. when she, we go to bed different times, right? I fall asleep in the chair, like an old man do. And, uh, and, and then she says, I'm going to bed. And I say, can you blow the candles out? You blow the candles out. Can't you blow the, can't you blow the candles out? Would well, you blow them out? So that we have thousands. It's like one of them Shaolin temples at my house, <laughs> fucking candles. <sighs> And your eyes are watering with the candle stuff. So when the first night I blew them out, I really give it a good blow. And of course, all the wax went all over shit like that. <laughs> and, and the wax goes on the wick. It won't light again. It's some kind of... Anyway, that was the last time she asked me to blow the candles out. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like you're jizzing. Poof, they just go. <laughs> what is it with you? Cocks and cocks and... Do you know you what? You're just about rubbing it, it in, mean? aren't you? You're I just walk... rubbing it in, coconut bollocks. <laughs> I, walk... <laughs> I walk up in the middle of the night to my wife screaming, right? And, and I said, what are you doing? She went, there's someone in the room, there's someone in the room. I flicked the light off and I said, it's the fucking dressing gown on the back of the door, you stupid bastard. Honestly, she, she freaks out. But have you ever done that when you sort of half wake up and you think, shit, there's somebody in the house? You know, so we've had to stop putting the dressing gown on the back of the door because she thought there was a bloke staring at her. This is <laughs> to be fair, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> but if someone does get in your house, now this is an interesting question, I'm digressing. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, you must tell me off. No, if someone me. does get in your house, you're in danger of being killed. If you kill them in a struggle, you're going to be done for manslaughter or murder or whatever. If you report it to the police. This is the thing. I, I reckon burglars don't tell people where they're going burgling, do they? No. No, they don't. So just fucking kill him. And uh, <laughs> yeah, bury him in the back garden. They'll all be down there. Have you seen Harry the Dip? No, I think he's on the run somewhere. He ain't. He's down by my apple tree. That's where he is. Don't worry about that. <laughs> and if, if someone digs your house up 10 years later and finds him, just say you bought some topsoil off Fred West or something. <laughs> <laughs> better, better to be tried by 12 than carried by six. <laughs> oh, Thank good you idea. very much. Yes. Is this why you get in the patio, Jim? You said before well, I need you a heater for it. I need a heater. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. To cover all the dead bodies. <laughs>